Good afternoon YouTube viewers and subscribers. So what I've got on my table here is I bet you thought you saw the last of this. I've got this sitting here because what I'm going to show you today is something I purchased to go along with this uh, wonderful engine. And let's just start by saying this company is really kick-ass. I really like Sonictronics. I've used their products for many, many years. For the McDaniel Nye starters that I have and many other things. This place is awesome. But what I bought today was a glow, an onboard glow system. Now this one is the 474 model which is for a four-cylinder engine. So I thought I'd just go ahead and open this up and see what all is inside. Obviously I know what's inside, but uh, there's a picture that I can post right here and we'll compare that against what I've got inside this package. So the package itself has the glow driver box it pretty much looks just like it does. Now this thing is going to actually take quite a bit of effort to install because it comes with a rather extensive instruction sheet. So I'm going to have to do some soldering, uh, inserting uh, some pins into some Molex connectors and that type of thing. So here's my glow drivers that go on the unit, my pins, my Molex pins, ground lug, and various other items here. So no, this system was not inexpensive, but since I've been doing a lot of engine work, I think I felt it uh, that I owed it to myself to do something special for my Pegasus engine there. Now the other day I had mentioned something about one of these large RX packs which is a 4000 milliamp hour battery pack 4.8 volt nic uh, nickel metal hydride and this is the reason why I purchased this because 3300 to 4000 milliamp hour nickel metal hydride pack is what is recommended for this particular uh, glow ignition system and I just so happen to find this place on eBay and you get two of these packs for fifty dollars so I was like oh that's really cool I can use the other pack for something else but the thing that's so cool about Sonictronics is they always give you extra stuff like uh, this is just some CA hinges and you usually always get a little package of CA hinges uh, whenever you order anything from them and it says free sample but today there was actually this little item in here and it says it's a free gift and thank you and it looks like it's a tool that might really come in handy here. Let me zoom in on this real quick. So it looks like a little hex driver. Oh yeah, look at that, that's cool. So it's a little screwdriver with a bunch of hex magnetic hex. So that's a really cool little tool. I like that a lot. So I will definitely use that because I use this kind of stuff all the time. So anyway, this company Sonictronics McDaniel is really kick ass. I like their stuff and whether I actually make a video or not of me doing the work on this because there's some soldering and that type of thing, it's unlikely. But what you will see is uh, my Pegasus engine running using this and with my uh, throttle, my servo tester throttle control also. So it's going to be kind of a cool thing once I get all of this stuff set up and uh, ready to run. So anyway, that's what I'm probably going to be working on this weekend. Since I don't have an engine to work on, we'll work on maybe getting this glow driver set up done. Well, I didn't exactly expect to blaze through this like I did. But you know what happens when you get a soldering iron out and you kind of start on something, you end up going through with it. So the things that I have done to set this up, and I apologize for not actually showing this in video, but there's just some things that are just really difficult to shoot video of and 
this was kind of one of those things. I've got my throttle control servo set up here. So here's my throttle or my uh, servo tester, my throttle servo, etc. I bought a Y harness, and based on the instructions in the McDaniel uh, instructions for this unit, I got a Y harness. Plug the Y harness into my servo tester. The other two leads, one's going into this box here. The other is going to my throttle. And this or this LED allows me to determine the set point of when my glow is going to turn on. And that's really all it does. It doesn't say that the glow is ignited or anything. All it is is an indicator as to when you've got your glow turned on. So right now my throttle is in an open position. And let me zoom in here real quick on this so that maybe you can see this. And as I rotate it to more of a closed throttle low position, I've got my LED to come on. Meaning that I'm basically going to have my LED or the glow plugs ignited from a start or a low idle or low position, low throttle position, and then they'll turn off here. So that's what I've got going on here. That's all this LED does. Now you can adjust the set point of when this turns on and off by adjusting this potentiometer right here. Now there's a switch here also that you can servo reverse. So if you've got something set up backward, if I turn this, now that's off and now it isn't going to turn on until I'm further up the line. So this is a servo reverse switch or a you know, basically an inversion of when you're going to ignite the glow. So this is still powered by my small 4.8 volt uh, nickel metal hydride pack. Uh, the other thing I did was you have to do is they recommend that you cut the leads off of the battery that came with it because they don't have they're not sufficient uh, wire size gauge to conduct the current. And I thought they looked like they were, but it was really the only out of the, ins the outer insulation that was. These are actually 20 gauge wires. So I had to cut those leads off or actually desolder those leads. Solder them onto this. And then of course it's got this small Deans connector. So what I would do here now is to actually plug. This is actually the battery pack that's going to be uh, providing the power to my glow plugs. So I just plug that in here. This connector here is where I plug in the harness for my engine. And here's how I've got my harness set up. I've got each one of these feeding a glow plug and my harness here. So I would basically just plug this in like this and now the system is ready to energize these glow plugs. So I would just turn this on and at this point here these glow plugs are going. They're ignited right now until now. I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to unplug this because these things probably going to need to be charged up. Now the thing that's interesting about this is that the red wires are positive or plus 4.8 volts DC or 5 whatever the charge current or charge voltages of that battery pack but they've got this set up so that the hot wire the plus voltage wire is actually on the engine case so the engine case and they caution you the engine case is actually going to be at a positive voltage level of whatever the battery voltage is at that time. Only the plugs are negative. So it says to plug or attach this lug centrally located to the engine or to the glow plugs um, for best you know, glow ability. Um, I could put it on one of these here possibly but the mounting lug was rather large it had a large hole now I could just cut that off and get a smaller lug and put on there and I may end up doing it but for now I'm gonna have it attached back here and the first test we'll see if it 
you know operates like that and if not then I'll need to reposition this but instead in the meantime I went ahead and I just used electrical tape and just kind of prettied all this stuff up I kind of wanted to use little wire ties but I didn't have wire ties at the time I was hoping maybe I could have some high temp you know, I maybe get a piece of high temp Kapton tape from work and attach this here so that this stays in place but this setup is pretty much ready to test I think the only thing I'm going to do now is go and uh, plug my battery back in and get it charged up. Uh -oh. So um, that's kind of where we stand with this right now and uh, I don't think I'll be testing this anytime soon. It might be uh, this weekend sometime perhaps. But this is my McDaniel uh, four-cylinder uh, glow onboard glow system setup.